Hello, I'm your host, Mary Arnott. Welcome to this edition of All About Hopkinton, the HCAM show created to bring you the people and organizations that make our community a great place to live. The people on All About Hopkinton dedicate their time, energy, and talents to improve life in our town. It's an honor to talk with them and share their stories. Joining me today is Ann Click, Pat O'Brien, and Sandy Sulfaro from the Friends of the Hopkinton Organization. Welcome to all three of you. Thank you very much. I don't usually get to uh, talk to three people at <laughs> once. This is great. I'm glad you're all here. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that I read an article today that Hopkinton was voted the safest community in America by some organization, SafeWise or something. And if I had, it was up to me, I would add that we're one of the friendliest and most inviting and welcoming towns as well. And your organization helps to make that all happen. So, so true. glad you're all here. Um, there are a lot of new people in town, and hopefully they'll catch the show. So why don't we start off by talking a little bit about what the organization Friends of Hopkinton is and give a little background on it. Sandy, would you like to start with that? Sure. Um, we are here today because we became closely involved during the um, the 300th, when the 300th um, anniversary uh, committee started. We started out with a group of probably a dozen of us, and we had so much fun doing it because there were all walks of life, mostly of people that have been here for years and uh, really cared about Hopkin. And, and we had so much fun doing it, even if uh, we only needed a couple of people for a volunteer, uh, for um, like say collecting cans, we found that there were eight of us down there doing it. And <laughs> we just love to hang out together and help each other and everything else. And when the 300th ended, we didn't want to stop. So all of a sudden, the Friends of Hopkins started. And so our, our next step was helping to produce Family Day. So our, um, we have meetings at my house and um, uh, the second uh, Monday of every month now and we've had new members like Pat has retired but he hasn't really retired it's very involved in family um, um, events in town and we welcome anybody to come on board and we especially need a lot more adults for family day and um, so because it's a year-long process in planning and um, we just love being part of the community because um, we love our community, and uh, the family day, we didn't know how it was going to go off, but it's just becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And it takes a lot of work and a lot of planning all year long. It's just not putting the events out in the field. There's a lot, Annie and Pat and Paul and the committee, I think we've got a committee of about 20 at least. There's a lot of event planning, and you wouldn't believe what goes beyond the uh, scenes to make it happen. We love it. We are definitely going to spend some time talking about the Family Day because mm -hmm. that is extremely important and a wonderful event. But before we get there, so you started out as a group just coming together who cared about Hopkinton, mm -hmm. wanted to help with the 300th, mm -hmm. had so much fun, which is the way it should be, yeah, right? Yeah. And so, but then you formally organized as a 501c4, as I understand it, mm -hmm. so that if people want to donate to the mm -hmm. organization because you are a nonprofit, mm -hmm. right? I believe their donations would be tax deductible. So, right. and you do look for community support, is that correct? Yes, mm -hmm. very much so. Okay. Mm -hmm. We do, and the, the main and? support we look for is for Family Day. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have another fundraiser that we have in the beginning of February, our ham and bean dinner with karaoke night, which has been, um, Two years running, and uh, it's been a great success. And it, that is really a family night because half of the people that are there are children, and they love the idea. It gives them an opportunity to get up on the microphone, sing their favorite songs in front of an audience. So they really enjoy that. And we have a delicious ham and bean dinner, and um, we make some money for that, which goes into our treasury to help run this family day. Um, but family day is 
um, a, a cost event that we do look for our um, community um, people and businesses to help support. Um, we have fantastic support from the town. Um, they have assisted us in the cost of the fireworks on both years and, and that we couldn't have done it without them. Um, but we also have um, the other expenditures that go along with Family Day, such as the bouncy houses and um, helping other vendors or um, organizations that come in and run events that can't afford to uh, pay for what they're going to do. We help to financially support them, uh, signage, um, and all these expenses add up. So uh, it's been great over these two years that the um, public has really reached out and, and assisted us in, in, in uh, making both these days very successful. Well, since you brought up so much about Family Day, I guess we're going to jump into that. But I do have to say, I hope that you will do the karaoke and being in dinner again, because I wasn't able to make it this year, and I really <laughs> want to be there <laughs> for the next one. So I hope you'll Certainly. do a, a third one. This will be the third one if you oh, do it again. Oh, get really into it, too. Next now. Year. Yeah. <laughs> you missed the Beatle, Beatles and Beatlettes. That was a huge success. Yeah. Well, I'm very glad. So let's talk a little bit more about Family Well, a lot more about Family mm -hmm. Day, because it really deserves a good portion of the program. It's such a wonderful event. Mm -hmm. And as Pat, you mentioned, so many organizations and people get involved. So, Ann, maybe you could jump in and tell us, for 2019, what day is Family Day? Okay, it's September 14th, and the start time is 2 o'clock, and it's going to be behind the middle school, you know, the high school area. Where it has been in the past. Yes, yes. the same okay. area as, be, as the past. And the makeup of Family Day is town organizations, town nonprofits, businesses, all, all located in town. Anybody located in town will come, uh, let us know what they want to do for an activity. So uh, um, see if I can give you a couple of examples. Um, we had a... Um, uh, we had a church that did face painting. We also hired some face painters because that was so popular. We had a balloon artist, which we hired. But everything else that's there, besides the food trucks, is free. The, the face painting is free. The balloon artist is free. Everything that people that is on the field, brought in by the organizations in Hopkinton, is free. And then we have a nice big bank of, of uh, food trucks that, um, you know, people would be able to get their lunch and supper. And nobody has mentioned the fireworks yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the big... Uh, that's the big expense, that's right? That's the big, big expense, expense, but the town takes that up for us. Um, a couple of years ago, it was a town meeting vote. So that's been taken care of, but as Pat said, there are other expenses. But I want to just mention the, the organizations. It just wouldn't happen without the organizations coming forward. And uh, I know you're going to mention our uh, web page, web uh, page, and uh, friendsofhopkinen.org. And on that page is uh, a um, Family Day subtitle. And that's where people who want their organization would like to come forward with an activity. We'd like them to fill that form out and send it in. Plus, we have a list of the others, of everybody who's done it in the past, and that those people are going to be contacted this month as well. So. I, I'm glad you mentioned that, because uh, I was going to ask you, how will you reach out to the organizations again to jump in now that you have set the date? And uh, I know that the Hopkinton Historical Society, I sit on that board, and we've participated in the past. Yes. Um, we brought. Uh, Little games that yeah. people used to play back in, you know, 1700s, 1800s, <laughs> yeah. and that was a kind of yeah. a hit with the kids, you know, yeah. to try these things. Yeah. So uh, I hope that we'll be able to join the, Good. the family so. day again as well. And I know the food trucks, uh, they do charge, but um, there's a variety. Yes. Which is really nice, and I know they were really popular. So get in line early sometimes if yeah. you want to get lunch or dinner. Mm -hmm. um, but they were... 
you know, they are there so that people don't have to worry about, well, how am I going to spend hours and hours seeing all of the exhibits and all of the organizations? I'll get too hungry. Don't worry. You guys got them covered, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And, and like you said, to get in line, you know, some of the popular ones was the uh, human's ice cream. Oh, I mean, yeah. That line just never ended. Yeah. And, um, you know, our snappy dogs from Hawkington. Um, their line never ended. So and the pizza and the pizza, um, and, and yeah. we're going to expand it a little bit more this year, and open up the food court a little bit in the back. Oh, and good. Um, the area that we had, we kind of confined it a little bit on top, and we had used that as a parking lot down below. But I think what we're talking about is just to give the people a little more space and freedom with some more food trucks and some more tables to sit down and mm -hmm. and, and enjoy that, so we don't have to. Um, squish all the people in up there. Well, of course, I have to mention also that HCAN was there. Yes. yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It was great. And they play a big role in yeah, um, getting some of the scenes and the yeah. excitement that's going exactly. on and having their booth. So yeah. They actually tape for us the 2017 one, mm -hmm. and it's on our web page. And uh, it's great. You know, the, the taping was fantastic. They just went around the field and interviewed different um, organizations. And you really got, if you, if you go and get and review that tape that HCAM provides, mm -hmm. provided us with, um, you'll really get a feel of what the, the makeup of the day is. Yeah, I'm happy to do some self-promoting for HK. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's well deserved. It's well deserved. Yeah, Absolutely, I think the yeah. community would agree with you, Pat. Yeah, yeah, um, it's true. So, I, also, I think people should know sort of why you do this. Okay, there's sort of a mission to this whole thing <laughs> that goes on in the Friends of Hopkinton. So, why do you put on events? Okay, and I copied the key words of our mission because, <laughs> uh, anyways, you know, it's to provide community activities, encourage and support community spirit, town spirit, mm -hmm. with enthusiasm and pride. That's our mission, and that is right on the front page of our web page. And as you mentioned, we will put the web page, we'll list it at the end of the show. People will be able to go there and reference and Organizations can sign up for the big event day. Uh, and it's a nice web page, so go out and find out a little bit more about yes. the Friends mm -hmm. of Hopkington. So mm -hmm. I don't know who who's keeping that up for you, but thank you for doing that. Right. <laughs> How many people would you ma estimate, Mary, that we have there? I'd say anywhere between five to 9,000 people at night. It gets packed. It, well, yeah. it does, and people come and go. Yes. I mean, you don't have to have a ticket to get in or anything. No. So right. people come, they enjoy it for a while, they might take a little break, come back. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do want to also, um, just say a little bit hats off to our police and fire and first, all the folks who uh, have helped to make Hopkinton the safest community in America, but yeah. also have a presence at our events. Um, yes, and they um, and the school as well. We have mm -hmm. had so much cooperation from from the school department. Um, for the the it the is kids it, that fall into yeah, you. and 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 you mentioned the community event yeah. and. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, we start at the top and, you know, we really couldn't get this thing off the ground without right. the support of the selectmen and the town manager, Mr. Yeah, Kamalo. Right. Yes. Um, you know, their support from day one yeah. with the helping of the financing of, of the fireworks and, and some expenses there. And then we went to the school and they've been fabulous. Yeah. Um, anything that we needed, they've been accommodating. Yeah. Uh, we've been working with their facilities director, Tim Pearson. So we met with them yesterday. And we threw a couple little curveballs at him yesterday, and he had no issues with them. Um, so we, we got that on board. And then our DPW, oh. working oh, DPW. with Mike Manta, and um, just the help on Friday, putting up the no parking signs, getting the picnic tables from the YMCA, mm -hmm. getting them delivered there, um, and then having this crew there. The Early the Saturday, and at the, yep. right through right to the through, end, right and they're the last ones to leave because yeah. they're, they're, you know, making sure everything's all tidied up for school on Monday. Yeah, and then you mentioned the police and fire. Um, yeah. The police are there, you know, all the key points to keep everybody safe, mm -hmm. and the fire department with the fireworks and the ambulance and and the EMTs there. Mm -hmm. um, so, really, it, you talk about yep. a community event, and yeah, right. this is just about every 
community involvement, town mm -hmm. um, organization. So it's, it's fabulous. And, and we need the cooperation from the community because of the fireworks. Mm -hmm. You know, the main trail is closed. It's off limits. And folks have to know that. Also, the uh, fire chief has been um, made public to us at a recent meeting that uh, drones are not uh, are just not allowed. You know that is a I know a very popular and, and people love to use them for photographs and uh, for, um, but they're just not it's not it's a safety situation. So. The, the main trail is going to be closed. There are going to be there's a certain radius that the state fire marshal sets up because of the fireworks, and part of it is the main trail. And I know people love their weekends on the trail. I get that very well, very much so. But it's just not the case this year, you know. Um, and we have to have the community cooperation on that and the drone uses of drones as well. Well, I'm so glad you brought that point up because I want to emphasize it Good. to the community, to adults and young people, no drones, please. Thank as much you. fun as they can be, yes. and they serve a good purpose in the right environment, sure. but not on family day. We don't want yeah. people worried about stuff flying over their heads and everything. Yeah. So. Right, and the yeah. fireworks, and they interrupt certain, th you know, certain safety uh, factors, evidently. Yeah. 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 And the day afterwards, um, the biggest help we need is volunteer pickup. Yeah. That's a big, big thing. I wish I could, but that's when you need. These guys came home and needed their men gay <laughs> <laughs> and everything else. But after the next day when they need to go and pick up the fields and everything, the day of the enthusiasm of the fireworks and families coming together, it's better than the 4th of July because everyone's away, it seems like, in Hopkinton. Mm -hmm. But um, this is their 4th of July in Hopkinton, and everyone's enthusiasm that night is unbelievable. Yeah, it's lovely. It and, but the day afterwards is when everyone needs help cleaning up. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, Sandy, because everybody you know, looks forward to the day, and they go out, and they enjoy it, and yeah. we get a lot of folks mm -hmm. having fun and everything. Mm -hmm. And then you go home, and you don't think, oh, I should go back the next day, yeah. volunteer some of my time, even if you're not part of the Friends right. of Hopkinton. They you don't have it. to be a member. You can go to bring a couple of trash bags, and, All you know. tables need to go back. Yeah, and help out. Supplies sure. need to be put back, and, you know. We're not as young as they used to be <laughs> and stuff like that. Well, and maybe it's something that uh, the high schoolers can jump in for some of their community uh, work that they have to do or Actually, something. Actually, they did. Yeah, they they last year, in. we had yeah. some high school students show mm -hmm. up, yeah. and uh, they helped us with that. So, yeah. and, and with that thought, um, Josh Hanna, one of the system principals, yeah. has been like a coordinator with yes. us for getting volunteers on Family Day. Mm -hmm. So we have had high school volunteers to assist us during the day, and we had some show up on Sunday to help us clean up. Yeah. So they've, uh, he's done a nice job helping yeah. us out on that. He still needed more. Oh, you can always <laughs> need more. Right? Right. And also this year we're going to uh, solicit the town as well for adult volunteers. Uh, we uh, realized that certain locations and jobs an adult could be a little more effective than, you know, a high schooler. Although we love having the high school kids, and like you said, Josh is great, and we they've been so responsive. But we realize now we could use some more adult um, volunteers. So we'll be putting out the word about that as well, and how people can you know can contact us. There's actually a contact on our on our web page as well. Okay. Well, I do want to mention, because Sandy brought it up a little bit, saying it's kind of like a 4th of July celebration, because mm -hmm. during the July, everybody's gone on vacation. But we still have our Horribles Parade. We want people in town, if you're <laughs> yes, around uh, on the 4th, yes. to get your organization mm -hmm. involved for the Horribles Parade yeah, and yeah. enjoy that day, because that's a wonderful family day and community day as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes people think that uh, when they get there to Family Day now, this year on September 14th, they're going to see everything all set up and think, oh, boy, this, you know, came together really easy. Mm -hmm. But behind the scenes, there's so much work going on, right? Tremendous amount of work. You've got all the organizations get involved, and we mm -hmm. do want our local businesses to jump in and help support uh, financially as well as, you know, if it's when it, where it's appropriate, some of them to have uh, information there. and Correct. 
That is okay. correct. There's just no collections. Okay, we do put up our little jar. You know, mm -hmm. if people want to come by and you know thank us and put something in our jar. <coughs> that's great. I, you know, that helps us out. But um, that's part of um, the information that's on the organization uh, form. Mm -hmm. Is that you know we don't ask. We ask that people do not solicit um, you know donations that day. We want to keep it as free and you know as free as possible. Yeah. And so on that day, it starts at 2 o'clock, you said, September 14th. And when, do, when can the organization show up at the site to start putting up their Well, that will be the information that we will um, give them. Okay. Okay, once we know they're coming. You know, it will be earlier in the day, probably 11-ish -ish or something like that. But yeah, with 30-plus, with 40 right. different organizations, we have them all mapped out where they're mm -hmm. all going to go. Yeah. So we'll be good correspondents. Um, Collect Cronin um, has been kind of dealing with all these uh, organizations. So we know how much space they need, what um, things they'll need to run their event, and if they need electricity, if they need water, if whatever they – anyway, they're put in a certain place. So they'll, they'll get find out what time. You know, but usually around 12 o'clock, you know, we like to make sure everything's all set up plenty early enough because, you know, people always come to these events early. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing we didn't mention is um, we've always had um, great music, oh, great I, entertainment. I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they're going to have music again. I was going to yeah. ask yes. you, do you plan and, on any uh, we, bands or anything? You know, we anything? have great music, um, you know, great diversity of it. Mm -hmm. And last year we were able to have a great high school band join us. Yes. Um, and, you know, we plan on having, you know, the high school involved with us again this time um we've had a lot of local talent you know last couple of years you know we've had steve specter and the hot acoustics amanda maffei mm -hmm. barbara kessler uh kyle adams who lives in town played with us last year um so we've uh, really had local talent um come out and, and help us out throughout that day so um you know we're looking forward again this year to have you know local people come in and help entertain the crowd well, I don't have any talent in my bones, but I will tell you, we are a very talented community. I will say that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So right. having some of that music there and some of the folks come out again will be a real treat. It is. Mm -hmm. As it has been in the past. And it's they should recycle their uh, volunteer shirts. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But we mentioned earlier about, um, you know, volunteers and, and organizations. And, and like everything, you know, we don't want this to run its course of, the same old, same old, same old every time. And, and you know, even on the members here, you know, doing it the same thing year after year after year. So, you know, first thing is um, we're always looking for new organizations to come out. And um, that is a, is a draw for the people to come out because w when they see new activities they can do throughout the day, that, you know, gets them excited and, and you know, want to come out. So um, they can go to our website friendsofhopkinen.org, and there's a, um, a link there that will tell them what they need to do to uh, contact us to participate in this event. And we'll get right back to them and, and give them any information they want. But we encourage whatever organization in town um, just to come be involved. And all we ask is that they do some activity for the crowd. You know, we, we just don't want them to come out and hand out pamphlets about their organization. But, you know, to come out and... Like the trails of Hopkinton, we we're just told it had a hula hoop contest and stuff. So I remember I tried my, tried my hand at that, or I should say my body. So it doesn't have to be anything too elaborate, no. just something fun that you know, yeah. even kind of a throwback to, to years ago, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. um, that will make uh, people come to your booth, and you know, it's, it's a good way to get your name and your organization out there. Mm. Well, and we want all the organizations, even those in the past that have been there, to return because I will tell you, you know, it's hard to find. Um, such a wonderful event where you can bring the whole family, young and old, you know, most everything is free, mm -hmm. and have a really good time. Yes. And the kids don't, they don't care from last year if they got their face painted, they're going to do it again. Last year if they played an old-fashioned game at the Type Historical the Society or yeah. the hula hoops or the, you know, they're happy to be out there. What we've got to do is just pray for really good weather, right. starting That's now. It. That's, right. That's it. <laughs> put, our, uh, put our little message in there, please let there be good weather that yeah. day. <laughs> exactly. Yep. You yeah. mentioned the uh, 
a horribles parade. My husband, who works for McIntyre, is very involved with that. Mm -hmm. And we try to get more and more each uh, year involved with that, you know, especially, you know, for the remembrance of Tommy and stuff like Absolutely. that. And if we could go uh, back to um, getting the real old horrible parade, they used to have old-fashioned cars and horses, but, you know, we'd like to contain the water situation and everything. Uh, not throwing ice balloons and yeah. stuff like that. Well, before uh, July starts coming yeah. around, we'll talk about that, too, as well, because we want both events, all events in town. Yeah. You know, yeah. Hockington 101 just is coming up. Real quick, all yeah. Mary, I know we're running out of time. I just, yep. you know, with I'm sitting next to two Hockington natives. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, when they asked me to join the committee, you know, I was honored because, you know, these two ladies along with the rest of the committee, pretty much are all Hopkinton. And, you know, I've only been here about 36 years. And, um, you know. You're a newbie. I'm a newbie, right. <laughs> Me but too. with that being said, is that we uh, are encouraging people to join our organization. Yeah. You know, if yeah, they like what we do, if they want us to do more, you know, we, right mm -hmm. now we do two events. If they want us to do more, please come and join us. You know, yeah. we're looking for new members. Yeah. We're looking for people that want to get involved in the community and, and help Hopkinton remain uh, a very friendly place. Like I said, we're a safest place. Let's continue being that, you know, friendly place where, you know, everyone inviting. feels, you know, as one. Yep. And we will be at uh, 101 also. So if there's anybody who wants to join us, just speak to me. That, that. Good show. Well, thank you all both, uh, all both, three of you, <laughs> Sandy, Pat, and Anne, for all being here today. I'm really looking forward to the events and everything. Thank you very Thank much. You, Thank Mary. you. Now I'll read my little closing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching this program and hearing about Friends of Hopkinton and work they do. For information about them, visit their website listed at the end of the show. For more information regarding All About Hopkinton, go to hcam.tv. If you or someone you know would like to be on the show, send an email to jim at hcam.tv, and you just might see them sharing their story on All About Hopkinton. I'm Mary Arnott, and thanks for watching. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving because if you do it, your child will too.